Welcome to the Design in It 9 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be working in original pattern drafting, and we're going to work on how to associate a stitch pattern with individual garment pieces. This is a great feature. Open the thumbnails, and let's go to this directory and open a child's top. We want to select the front as the active piece. This button here, show the integrated stitch pattern on the garment piece. And it's going to ask us, what do you want to put there? And I'm going to go down to stitch patterns, my files. And this is a pattern that we scanned in from a chart in Design Graphics Studio. OK. And there you go, it's laid out. And I can use, click on this plus, and I can drag this exactly for the placement that I want. Let's say we like these big flowers right in the middle. And I've placed it. How easy is that? If I want to put something here, turn this off. Let's put this back on and I have it on the back. I can use this hand again to move things around. And we said I like this in the middle. I can also, with my cursor over top of this hand here, but not clicking down, I can then use my arrow keys to move this one row at a time for exact placement. And let's go back. I like this placement, but let's go back here and hold the hand there and move this down so that this is identical to this one. Perfect. Over here, turn this. Same thing. I like this. And here's our placement. How about this one? Click here. Same thing, and there you go. Now these I'm going to adjust up and down to get the right placement. If I say File and Integrate, Design in it 9 has already added this information in for each of the garment pieces are checked off that they have a pattern associated with it and the pattern name. If I want to change this pattern for, say, a sleeve, I just click on this three dots. And let's put this one on instead. And done. And I can't move this right now because this window is open. But see how this has changed? Over here, it's saying this is a fair isle technique and the carriage starts at the right. If you don't want something integrated and you would like to remove this, just uncheck it and the association is gone. You can always select this as the active piece and put it right back. There you go. And I'm going to hover this and I'm using my arrow keys to get perfect placement. Let's move these. In designing it eight, you could only see one pattern piece with a stitch pattern on it at a time. But in designing it nine, every pattern piece can be displayed with a stitch pattern at once. So what else can we do that would be helpful? Wouldn't it be nice if we could preview a couple different designs on this front to make a decision which one we actually wanted. I'm going to click on this one as the active piece and say duplicate this piece and call this front two. And not only does it duplicate the piece, but it also retains the stitch pattern that's integrated with it as well. And all we have to do is double click on this and change it to something else. And now I can see both of these at the same time and make a decision which one I actually want to knit with. 
And here, we're going to fuss with the placement. Look how easy this is. Let's say piece, duplicate a piece, front three. And again, it's duplicated this stitch pattern information along with the piece and how it's shaped. And let's click on this. Options, tensions, seven stitches and 10 rows to the inch now. This has changed to show you what is available for the garment front at that particular tension. If I want to change this one, let's put this puppy front that we digitized in a different video right on here. And I'm going to use this hand and I'm going to move it around. Now I can see at this particular tension this pattern is a little bit too big for this shape, but if the tension was a little bit smaller, let's say this was 8 and 11. Now this fits. When you put a single motif on here, it automatically repeats it. If I have a tension for something like this, and let's change this to the one here. This is the one laid out on the front, but this is the original one. Now I have two. And this gets people all the time because they're like, I just want one. And we can do that quickly. Let's say file, save this as a new name in my sweaters for the family, child's top and replace what's there, and then go right over to Stitch Designer. And up here, it still has the same tension, eight stitches and 11 rows per inch, but this piece isn't big enough. If I say Shapes, view a piece for this front, it's not big enough to have enough background. And if I actually went in with a big paintbrush and the brown and tried to get rid of this, it's getting rid of it on this repeat also. And I don't want to do that. What I really want is a big piece of fabric, file, new, and I'm not going to save this stitch pattern, big enough for the front, number two, the tension is going to say the same. Edit, import a single motif, this puppy, okay, and I would like him placed right here. That looks good. And then it still has the dotted line. Click outside the piece that you're importing. I'm going to turn my box on for my colors. And I'm going to select this color and the paint can and paint the rest in. And this is what it would look like. If I said file, save as, and I'm going to save it here. I'm going to call this new puppy front because this is a new stitch pattern. It's just a big stitch pattern that has this little piece on it plus more rows of stitching here so that I don't have this second set of puppies up here. When I go back to original pattern drafting, it's asking me that you have integrated this with the shape. Do you want to save this information? I'm going to say yes. And when I go back here, this is the one we just did. Look at the difference. Get even further refine this if I want right here quickly. This is the original puppy pattern, but it has too many repeats. 
This is the original puppy pattern, but we've put it on a bigger piece of knit fabric so that this is also more rows in the pattern. Let's put something different on here. I'm going to go back to my original stitch patterns. Let's talk about laying out sleeves so that this, let's put this one here, this sleeve, we want to have the same pattern. I'm using my right mouse button and bring it over here. Let's move this out of the way. I would like this stripe to match up here at exactly the armhole. If I had a set in sleeve, I would have an edge here for the armhole to see where this line at the top of the sleeve belongs. But I don't have that here to line this up. You can do this and you can kind of see it and you can eyeball it like that. And that actually is lined up, but you can do it faster and easier with a trick. If I took and added a point about here, that's going to make a little jig in so I could see this. And that's actually all I need. Turn the stitch pattern on. Now it's going to be very easy to see this edge here is lined up here. Let's turn these off first and let's make sure that they are absolutely perfectly lined up. There you go. Turn the pattern on and I'm going to use my slider to move up and down. What I would like is this stitch pattern to line up exactly here. And all I do is do this and move it so that it's exactly on the same row. And if I need to hover over this button and move it one row at a time until it is exactly perfectly lined up and then hover it and move this so that it is exactly where I want here. So now I have this lined up perfectly and I have this motif coming right down the middle. Maybe I would rather have both of these and have it centered over this one. So let's move this. I'm just using my left button. That's actually a nicer placement. Centralize all the pieces. Look at perfectly lined up. Turn off the stitch pattern. Select this as the active piece. We don't need this point anymore. Minus this point. And look, perfectly lined up. If I had a set in sleeve, I wouldn't need to add in that point, but for a drop shoulder, this is the trick. File, integrate. It has all of these patterns saved for me automatically. I'm ready to go. File, save this, and it's gonna save all of this information. If I went to thumbnails, Here's my child's top we just saved. It has little squares over each one. This means that there is a stitch pattern associated with each of these garment pieces. These don't have stitch patterns associated yet. If I looked in my original shape directory, this one here has a little square. This means that at least one garment piece has a stitch pattern associated with it. This one here has a bigger square here, and this means that all the pattern pieces, let's open this, have a stitch pattern associated with it. Thank you.